just a quick word on uh, the amplifier safety when you're working with commercial grade stuff like this. You guys that are used to the home stuff might think speaker wires are always totally safe. Well, that's not true. You have enough power available in an amplifier, you can essentially, you know, really get shocked bad off of these, off the speaker wires. And just to demonstrate that, I have this Crown K2 in bridge mode with my meter connected to the speaker outputs, set for AC voltage. And uh, I'm going to turn it up so it's just under clipping. Right there. 128 volts AC. So, got to be careful with these doggone things. That said, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this just so you guys don't have to. Like I said guys, be careful with these larger amplifiers. They have a ridiculous amount of uh, voltage available at the speaker terminals. And uh, just to prove that, I've got these alligator leads coming out of the speaker terminals here, bridge mode. These are just my test wires here. Get those out of the way. Follow those down and we have them clipped on the plug. And where does that plug go? It goes to Mr. Box Fan here. This is a 2.2 amp full size box fan. And just to show how much juice is available in an amplifier like this, I'm going to run the fan right off of it. I'm using this uh, computer here with <coughs> a function generator program outputting a 60 hertz sine wave. And uh, just let me bypass this thing here real quick. I was using that to improve sound quality, but anyway, let's see what happens here. Crazy, isn't it? Just for the fun of it, let's see what happens if I increase the frequency a bit. You can hear that box fan running over there. It actually goes slower. Yep. It needs to be right at 60 hertz to go at its optimal speed. Now I'm going to have a little more fun with it. Shall we see what happens if I play music into a box fan motor? I think so. There we go. I'm playing, uh, song called Save the World. It's actually running the fan in the chorus of the freaking song. And no, I'm not clipping the amplifier, it's just fine. It's actually pretty high impedance compared to a typical set of subwoofers. This amplifier can safely drive four ohms bridged. Uh, 2500 watts into 4 ohms in bridge mode, so no problem there.